What up guys, this is Kong and today I'm back again. Today I'm going to be talking about The Darkest Hour. I've been waiting for this movie to come out in theater near my, my house. Uh, I don't know why uh, this Shape of Water and The Darkest Hour is this, have that, that dis distribution issues or that reason. But anyway, I went to watch it and I was astonished. I truly was. Gary's Oldman performance at Winston Churchill was superb. He was Winston Churchill. He was. He exhibited the man. I never knew Winston Churchill, but I got a glimpse of who Churchill Winston was when he was alive. Man, you did a great job. I applaud you for it. You did a great job. I love Winston Churchill, the actors, his, his manner, his behavior, his demeanor, his outbursts, his expression, his uh, human problem, his condition, his uh, obsession, his, uh, his habit. You get to see that Winston Churchill was a great man, but a broken man. He was both because he was fat, he was smoking cigar, he was drinking one, uh, uh, um, wine in midday. He was doing all sorts of stuff that are against the conventional thinking, I would say. And yet this man come on top and people remember for the man he, who he was, not of the bad thing that he did, but the good thing that he did for his nation, for his countrymen. That was really well executed. Gary Oldman, you did a great job. I can't say, can't say it enough. You portrayed the man that I never got a chance to see. You portrayed him the best of your, your ability. You humanized humanize, human, humanize, uh, Winston Churchill. That he is a still human. He is a prime minister, but he is still human. And there's a scene where he, he acts with the, the locals, trying to pick their mind. And he was truly great at it. The actor truly great at it. Superb job. I can't say it enough. Christian Scott Thomas at Clementine Churchill. She did a wonderful job as a wife. She supported him um, and she she argued with him but she was the, his foundation. Supporting him every step throughout life and she knew what she got into from the moment she married him and he knew he got the gold one. He, got, he knew he got the right wife for him. And, and Winston Churchill knew that. And I'm glad he did. There's no, uh, there's no greater woman who will stand by your side at every step to your life. That is truly a great woman that uh, were there always support you. Man and woman who are there to support you. I love the recre re recounting of the day of, of Winston Churchill as prime ministers. You know, him facing the problem of how do we save the troop? How do I tell the public the truth? Uh, the truth. Uh, how to, uh, to make the choices he have to make. Uh, how to battle his opposition party and battle his war cabinet and the end fight, really. Um, what else? Uh, how to uh, unite the opposing uh, party and his government and, the, and his party. How to un unite both of them together. And Winston Churchill was fighting on all front, really, as a prime minister. You know, he was fighting his war cabinet. He was fighting against, you know, the public. Uh, he was fighting against the, the media. He was f uh, fighting against uh, Hitler. He was fighting against himself. So he was fighting on multiple front, if you look at deeply. So, this man has struggled. I mean, you can tell he's struggling. He may not, not may say it, but you can tell he was struggling. I love that, like I said, we got a great insight to the man uh, Churchill was. It's really great to see that, because there's not a, we see a lot of movies that have Winston Churchill in it, but we don't get to see him himself in a, a motion picture. We see glimpses of it, but this 
does its justice. It really does. If you go to this movie, you'll get an understanding of who this man was when he was on this earth. The con. Now moving to the con. There's not a lot of con. Like I said, it's a good, good movie. Don't have a lot of cons. There's a lot of talking and uh, not a lot of action. I'm more of a guy who's about action. But sometimes you have to talk. So the only con I can think is there's a lot of talking in this movie. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Gary Oldman, you did a great job, man. I want to say you probably might be nominated for Best Actor. Just based on your performance in this movie. You did a great job. I, I don't know what to say, Gary. Oh, I also forgot, guys. For the, the pro would be that there is a different variety of shot. You don't feel like you are in the same places. You are in different, different places. You feel... Um, you are going along, you are going to ride with Winston Churchill. So, again, on that final note, I get this movie a 8 out of 10. Um, because of Gary, I actually, originally, I give this movie a 7 out of 10. But I can't forget Gary Goldman's performance. He did a superb job. He convinced me that he was Winston Churchill. If an actor who's in it and perform it, he is a person... I gave him the full point. 8 out of 10. The man did his job. He did a superb job. And he deserved a nomination in my book. So, anyway guys. I want to thank you so much for your time and effort to watching my movie review. I really appreciate it. You don't know how much. And please, like, thumbs up, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also guys, browse my channel. There's a lot of contents on there you should check out. A lot of movie review and trailers to check out. Anyway, thank you so much. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.